It's not really about showing off or showing you that I own this. It's about your inspiration. You know, some people aren't in the cars. They like to save their money. Some people like to buy boats, planes. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Taste of the Bay, hosted by Beyond City Limits, and we're going to be asking supercar owners what they do for a living. Just remember, guys, that we make these videos to inspire you guys. Maybe something they do, maybe something they say will click to make you go after what you want and maybe to inspire you to go after your dreams. So make sure you guys watch the video to the end and let's get right to the video. What's your name and age? Uh, Brett. 20, no, I'm just kidding, I'm 35 years old. 35? Yeah, yeah. And what do you do for a living? Uh, general contractor in the Bay Area. Bay Area? Yeah, okay. family business. Oh, really? 50 years this year. 50 years? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And uh, what car did you bring in today? Uh, it's a 2013 Lamborghini Aventador. Do you have any advice for someone that maybe is looking, watching this video and wants to own one of these cars one day? Yeah. Just uh, keep your head down. Don't worry about what other people think. Make yourself happy and keep pushing forward. Yeah. Wake up every day. Life's tough. Uh -huh. You know, you go through struggles and there's definitely things that will push you down, but you just gotta keep moving forward. Yeah. And you know, you'll, if you keep pushing forward, you'll definitely prosper at some point in life. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a, it's a difficult, difficult struggle, but you know, it's fun. Yeah. And you know, there's gonna be ups and downs and like, uh, you're gonna have great times, you're gonna have really bad times, but you just gotta keep moving forward. Yeah. yeah. And have you said it's a family business, right? Yeah. So um, did you have mentors, or what was the best advice somebody has given you in terms of like business and you know finances? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah, don't slow down. Yeah. yeah. Even when you have times you wanna give up, don't, you know? Keep moving forward. My father was my mentor. Really? Yeah, he's taught me my whole life. He's an amazing inspiration. You know, he started from nothing, he had, you know, 20 bucks in his pocket. He, you know, started a company from the ground, RB Stitch, and he's run it for 50 years now. And we've grown it. The two kids, uh, three, three kids actually. Yeah. I have a sister and a brother, and we've all worked at the same family business, and we've grown it to exponentially to 115 employees and a couple awesome. mini storages. And yeah, yeah. it's fun. Wow. It's a lot of fun. And what are some of the struggles of like having like your own business? Your hourly? There is no hourly. There's no nine to five. It's I was, I was telling my friend, I'm at you know 2 a.m. on a Sunday responding to emails because I know I'll, if I get it done that night, I won't have to worry about it at 6 a.m. when I get up. You know, So there is no time frame that you're at work and you get to leave. You just work until work is complete. You know, so yeah. there's it's it's difficult. It's yeah. extremely difficult. Yeah. You know, people get into trying to start an entre be an entrepreneur sort of business. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, and it never stops. You yeah. know, my dad's 74 years old. He still works 75 boy. hours a week. You yeah. know, so and, and that's my future, and I don't mind. I like it. You know, yeah. I can work 12, 14 hours in a daytime yeah. and still be happy. Yeah. But you know, finding that balance is extremely difficult, and also having a family. So wow. there's definitely a middle ground to that, yeah. and you got it's hard to find that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, obviously, like when you have a business, there's rewards, and obviously this is one of the rewards that come with like working hard. You know? Yeah. And I'm um, obviously it's not just about the cars, but it's probably like the circle. That yeah. You surround the yourself people with, you meet. The you know? You meet yeah. Some stuff. of my best friends I met now they were in a Lamborghini rally, and you know I talk to them every day now. Yeah. And I wouldn't have done that had I not worked hard got this vehicle, met them in the car rally, you know, it's not really about showing off or showing you that I own this, it's about your inspiration, you know, some people aren't in the cars, they like to save their money, some people like to buy boats, planes, some people like to buy kinetics, whatever it is, you know what I mean? So it, this has been my passion yeah. since I was a child and I've strived to be here and it was not easy and I've pushed and pushed, but you know, yeah. 35 years old and I'm finally getting here. That's There's awesome. always more to achieve though. Yeah. yeah, cause I feel like a lot of people think like it's materialistic, you know, they're materialistic people. Yeah. But I feel like that just comes from your hard work. Yeah. And obviously you get to like help out your family, right? Yeah. Like you're oh, good yeah. financially. Of course. Like all that stuff yeah. is important. Yeah, it's yeah. about family. You know, yeah. that's the main purpose of life. The only reason you're here is cause someone took care of you when you were a child and an infant and you know, and that's what I inspire to be as a parent. I'm not a parent yet, but I hopefully the next time you, this is posted, I'll yeah. have a child. Right. We'll see. <laughs> we never know. <laughs> never know. Never yeah. know. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so yeah, much, man. Nice I appreciate you, it, Brent. Yeah, All right. Thank you. So, what's your name and your age? Uh, my name is Carlos Espana, and I'm 38 years old. 38. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a sales executive for Comcast. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm originally from Honduras. 
For people that come from other countries, what advice do you have for them? Just uh, don't lose that work ethic. You know, we Hispanics in general have really good work ethics, and when you come to a country that gives you an opportunity to use that work ethic, just take it to full advantage. And that's what I did. That's what my family did, and here we are today. See, this car is. It's not cheap, you know? Sure. You obviously have to be financially smart. So what advice do you have for people that are, you know, struggling with their finances? What do you, what advice do you have for them? I'd probably say just make sure that you have some goals set aside, right? And just work towards those goals. And uh, a lot of times people just spend their money, right? Like I don't spend my money on a lot of stuff. There's certain things in my life that are really important to me. So like my health, I love food. So I'll, and I like to travel and I like cars, right? So like that's where I spend my money. You'll never see me spending money on shoes, clothes, things that I don't see value in. I just don't. And I'm just, you know, smart with my finances. And, you know, I work hard and I buy the things and I reward myself for my hard work. Uh, usually, like, small, you know, I reward myself with small things, have a bigger goal, and reward myself with a bigger reward, right? So, right, right. Uh, the cars for me, like, a lot of people think, oh, this guy drives a nice car. He's full of himself. It's not even about the car, man. Like, it's, if you knew my story and where I come from, what I've had to do to, you know, to have the success, I guess you'd call it. Um, that's what motivates me, right? It's, it's, it's the hard work and just seeing the hard work come into fruition, yeah. like through a car or whatever that, maybe a house, whatever you want, to, what it is you want to do. But yeah. for me, it's cars, right? So. It's not just like you, like you said about the car, but it's like being able to like afford it and being able to help your family and everything, right? Right. So that's awesome. Be an example for the Latino community, right? From yeah. Honduras, you know, we're humble people and then you don't see a lot of Hondurans with nice cars, so. Yeah. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. No, no, it's awesome, man. Like my last question, what gets you off of bed every day? Just my goals, man. I have a lot of goals. You know, I'm very ambitious, and it's just, uh, I just work towards this goal, and then I get up every day, and I work hard to get my next goal. So. Yeah, awesome. All right, thank you so much, yeah, Carlos. appreciate it. I love my Try to make it here. Yeah. For exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> So what's your name and age? Sure, Dan, 48. Do you mind sharing with us what you do for a living? Yeah, I work in uh, financial planning and analysis, so I help make budgets for companies. Okay, and uh, what car did you bring in today? It's a 2013 uh, Gallardo Spider. For someone that's like watching this video, right, that's like inspired and wants one of these cars, uh, what advice would you have for them? Work hard, believe in yourself. Education can get, you know, a good job. I work in finance and accounting, pretty stable career. Okay, and for someone that wants to get into what you do, uh, what advice do you have for them? For me, just my career, accounting degree, MBA, okay. and then work at a big software company. Okay. For someone that, like, it's scared to, like, you know, to go out there and, like, put themselves out there, what advice do you have for them? I mean, as far as the car goes, it's a good investment. You know, especially something a few years old, they hold the value really well. So you don't have to worry, like, if you buy a new car, you know, the value's going to drop really quick. Like, I've had this car three years about, and it's worth about the same or a little really? more as when I got it. No um, so it can actually be a good investment. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, as far as, like, being scared for your career, I mean, you know, yourself is, is the best asset. You know, just have confidence and, yeah. you know, don't give up. Yeah. And uh, what's the best financial advice somebody has given you? Just try to save a little bit every month, no matter what. You know, don't uh, don't skip any months, and eventually you have a good nest egg. Yeah. Also, I would say don't make a car be your first priority. Mm, that's, that's you know, so thing, like right? I got, I know a lot of kids yeah. want this car, at like 18, 20. You know, just give yourself a chance in life. You know, maybe save up for a condo or house or something first. Oh, that's true. You Real know, estate first, right? Yeah. Before like I bought my house car. before I got the car. Yeah. You oh, know, that's smart. You know, that's but smart some people, thing. you know, they think that's the most important thing in the world. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of fun, but that's like a you said. Yeah, your yeah. family first and, you know, stability. Family first. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate sure. it. Sure you What's your name and age? Uh, Anthony Lamb. I'm um, 25. And um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I play basketball. Basketball? <laughs> play basketball. For who? <laughs> I play for the Warriors. For the, the Warriors? Yeah, Warriors. Yeah, right, man. Yeah. And um, what car did you bring in today? I rode it. I rode it with my guy Russell right here. Uh, Lamborghini. Lamborghini? <laughs> and yeah. um, do you have any advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? Um, I think the biggest thing that I'm doing is just doing what I love and, and finding ways to make money off it. So I think that's the biggest thing. If you have a passion for something, make a way to make money off of that. So I think find what you're interested in, something that you love to do, go find a way to make some profit off it. Yeah. How did you gain that, you know, like that mentality to like work hard every day? Uh, it's really just building habits, like small little habits, like doing the things that you don't like to do and being able to 
push through those so you can do the things you like to do. I love to play basketball, so yeah. I make the sacrifices I can to play basketball at the highest level. Yeah, all right. And um, what makes you happy, man? Um, being with my family, uh, being able to do what I love, and being able to have the freedom to live life the way I want to live it. I yeah. think those are all the things. I so think you're doing it, man. I'm, yeah, I'm grateful, awesome. grateful for all of it. You know, I'm proud of your success, man. Thank yes, you so sir. much, yeah, Anthony. Nice all right, nice yeah. to meet you, too. Thank you. All right, there you guys have it. It was an amazing event. We met a lot of great people, a lot of great advice. We have a goal of hitting a 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So make sure you guys uh, support the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.